Okay, so I was not expecting an Infinity Train trailer. The way they did this was so cool. On their website, you had to solve a little riddle and then the trailer would play. Very cool and I think this is an amazing way to hype up the trailer and just the show in general. But we are here to analyze the 1 minute and 45 second trailer, so let's just begin. And if you know me, normal analyses are boring, so here I'm bringing you the best to worst of the Infinity Train trailer. And as always, starting with the best. Tulip. Just everything about her. From her being just a normal girl with normal friends, to her interest in game development. Right off the bat, she is a grounded human being. Not some far off character that we need to get to know, she's a character that will grow alongside us I think. We'll grow with her through her journey, unlike a character that has already been established in the problems of the universe. Also it's a big plus when the voice actor is Ashley Johnson. Tara from Teen Titans and Ellie from The Last of Us. That is a big plus in my books and it just makes me that much more excited. And I just love everything about Tulip. From her genuine excitement to being on the train to her change in attitude halfway through the trailer. I think Tulip is going to be a great character and I seriously cannot wait till we get to see her when the show releases. The side characters. At least these two. I think to complement Tulip, some good side characters need to exist in this universe. This robot and Atticus, the talking dog, seem like good companions that could really aid Tulip on her quest, while also adding some comedy and helping propel the story. I do really hope they introduce more side characters to complement these two, but so far I'm really digging it and I do hope that these guys get some good development on screen. They come in at a best. The environment. Oh my god, it looks so good. From the colors to the atmosphere to the wacky experiences. I can tell I'm going to love this show. The colors are amazing from this crystal world to the ocean place to this piano. Everything pops out of the screen in just the right way. I hope that each and every episode can push the boundaries of animation like they did in this trailer to make the show just that more amazing. And now, the worst. Now this trailer was damn good. And it's usually hard to spot a worst in a trailer because it's just a trailer. But a few things did come to mind. More speculative things really, but I think I can fit them in here. And so in my third worst spot, I'm gonna say the villain. Now we barely learned anything about this villain, except this robot type being telling Tulip to get back into her seat. Now this immediately makes me think of a conductor or something like that on the train. And so what I don't want them to do is make an inanimate object or inanimate robot the villain, because there is no room for development there I think. If the true villain was just simply the train and Tulip trying to escape that, I think that'll be really good. But if they try and give a lot of development to this robot or robot type thing, I'm not too sure about that. But then again, I have no idea. This sounds like an inanimate robot, but maybe it's some real being or real person that's actually in the train. We'll just have to wait and see. The room for filler. From the trailer, it seems this show is going to be packed with story. And that is a good thing, but if a show keeps showing us new stories each and every episode, it can become a little overwhelming and sometimes we lose the real element the characters have. And that's why filler episodes and some not so focused episodes really complement those heavy story episodes. And so I really hope I'm wrong here, but from the trailer it seemed there is minimal room for any filler type episodes. But I do really hope that they have time and they have space for those in between episodes. And lastly in my worst, actually it's not even really a worst, it's just a speculation kind of thing, but about the episode length. 
Traditionally, Cartoon Network shows are 11 minutes long. I mean, look at regular show, Gumball, Adventure Time, Teen Titans Go, you name it. But those odd shows do come around, like the old Teen Titans, and give us long 22 minute episodes. So which one will Infinity Train be? I'm thinking 22 just based on this trailer, because the amount of story we saw in such a short amount of time was quite substantial. So 11 minutes seems like it just won't cut it. But let me know your thoughts on that. Anyways, that is going to be the video for today. A quick recap of the trailer and my best to worst analysis on it. I am so excited for this show and will be making a lot of videos when it comes out. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your best to worst down below. My name is Rohan. Subscribe for everything Infinity Train and until next time.